Greetings. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. This is Carlton Kuhn. Uh, let me remind you real quick that uh, on my website, Carlton Kuhn Senior, and that's just sr.com, uh, you can find my most recent book, which deals with uh, encountering depression, Light in a Dark Place. It has been my bestseller uh, within the early stages of the book being in print. Uh, people of various backgrounds, church denominations, etc. People buy them in bulk. And I, I want to encourage you, if you're dealing with depression or if you have someone in your church family or your personal family, this has been uh, a real help. I want to talk with you today about finding, developing, and releasing leaders. And the primary focus here is going to be on finding leaders. Um, I was in a John Maxwell seminar some years ago, and uh, he said any church leader who thinks uh, his congregation does not have others who are also leaders is fooling himself. And uh, he said the way that you discover who those leaders are is ask two questions. Number one, uh, within this church body, who would people come to or who would people go to if they had an idea that they felt would be beneficial to the church other than coming to the pastor. Okay, so that's a positive expression. Okay, a second question that he said will give it, let you know who the influencers are, is to ask, okay, if someone has an issue in the church, they have a challenge, they have a problem, there's a difficulty, um, who will they go and talk to if they're not willing to come and talk to the pastor? And when you answer those two questions, you have discovered the people within the church body who are currently leaders. Okay, so let's take it a step beyond that. If a church is going to grow beyond uh, all 70 or 80 people, I think the maximum in most instances that one of us can, can effectively lead is about 120. Now, uh, we look back in history, and that's not always been the case. And it may well be that at some point in the future, one person can lead a congregation of thousands. Uh, but that right now seems to be an aberration. How do you find those people who are influencers, those people who can become influencers? Well, number one, you look for people who ask good questions without there being an agenda behind the question. You know what I mean with that. Uh, some people ask a question, but it's really a statement with a question mark at the end. That's not particularly the person that you're looking for. Uh, secondly, you look for people who are respectful, even as they're strong, not being argumentative, not being touchy, not easily uh, offended, because leaders, both pastors and those who are leaders in the local church, are going to experience offense. Okay, the third that is very important to me is I want to bring those people into a small uh, group where that we're considering how to do a particular thing and just observe them in action. Because if they sit there and they simply don't add anything, they don't talk, they offer no suggestions, uh, that person is not going to be an influencer. So I'm not wanting people who just sit there saying nothing. They may be easy for you to lead, but they're not going to be very effective at influencing other people. And then the last thing that you should look for, and I would encourage you to just make a list of the various people in your congregation who have uh, the ability or who are fulfilling these things. The last is people who are already influencing others in some way. And this does not have to be at church. It may be that they are... Uh, leaders in some aspect of their work. They may have been promoted into a place where they're now a trusted boss. Um, may be involved in the community in some way. 
but not simply working and volunteering in the community, but recruiting others to work alongside them. Okay, and then watch them around the church. Watch them. Do others follow them into conversation? Do others follow them into prayer? Do others imitate their behavior in praise or in worship? Do others imitate how they behave in the treatment of newcomers to the church? Those are things that you're looking for. I have pastors ask me at times, well, where do you get leaders? Well, you're going to do like Jesus and every other pastor. You're going to raise them up and develop them. And so that means that you have to keep growing as a leader yourself. They're not going to grow beyond you. They can't. So you're growing, you're developing, you're moving forward and coming along behind you. There are people who will take what you have given and they will put it into other people. I hope you have a great week. Visit carltoncoonsenior.com. Look over Lane and I's Disciple Makers training course. Look forward to being with you next week. God bless.